Hey guys, I have got the biggest haul I've done all year. This is two and a half months of Black Friday stuff, Sephora VIB stuff, Christmas stuff, uh, Boxing Day stuff, just orders from online websites. You're going to want to get a snack, you're going to want to settle down for about half an hour, and I'm just letting you know there will not be a haul for a very long time because now I need to start saving for things like food and living expenses. So <laughs> let's get into it. Um, so again, I'll start off with what I got for Christmas, which um, was yesterday when I'm filming this. I'm filming this on the 26th. So first of all, my family and I have this tradition where we get pajamas every year. So I got this fuzzy pair and I'm wearing some nice fuzzy pants here as well. So these are from Mark's Work Warehouse and I live in these in the winter. I have another pair that's just as very fuzzy and they're great. They're my favorite things. My parents also got me a Canon Vixia Mini for vlogging. I'm doing Vlogmas on my second channel and this has been amazing. I am so excited to have an actual camera that's HD that holds more than 10 minutes. Like look at how cool this is. Look at it. It's a nice cool fisheye lens. It's just, it's, it makes my life easier than vlogging with my phone. So I love this. And then they also got me the Vera Wang Love Struck Perfume. I love if you haven't smelled this, you need to. It is the prettiest bottle, first of all, and I just, I'm obsessed. So, really good Christmas, honestly. <laughs> then a couple of friends and I did a gift exchange. I'm still waiting to meet up with a couple of other friends. I haven't given them their presents yet, so I don't have absolutely everything I've gotten for Christmas yet, but it's enough stuff that I think you'll be just okay. Um, you're gonna still be here for a while. So me and Jess did an exchange and she got me the Vanilla Bean Noel Lotion, which I now have several. There are several in this haul video because I kept forgetting that I was buying them. This awesome pair of like thermal socks and my new baby, the Snars Lip Gloss. This is in the shade uh, Stolen Kisses and I will swatch all of the makeup that I am showing you in this haul. So that is pretty much everything that I've got so far for Christmas. Um, Taylor, my friend Taylor, is just my babe and she got my family and I some gift cards to Boston Pizza and it's amazing. So now we're going to have a family night out and now I need to go and love on her a little bit. So that is everything I got for Christmas so far. Honestly, it was an amazing time. It was very relaxing just hang out with my family. Um, I didn't vlog too, too much on Christmas, but I did vlog on Christmas Eve. So you get to see things like my grandma playing Cards Against Humanity and saying things like a motherfucking sorcerer, which kind of makes my heart a little bit more happy than usual. So seriously, get your relatives to play cards against humanity, you see them in an entire new light. Anyways, moving on, next I did some Hot Look orders. If you don't know what Hot Look is, it is a discount website where you can get designer things, you can get makeup and home stuff. So I got some stuff from Crown Brush. This is the Makeup Brush Cleaner. Haven't used it, the wrapper's still on it. I've maybe used like five things total in this haul, and you'll see that with the number of things that is in this haul, that's a very sad number. I also got this brush. This is one of the things I've used. This is the Crown Brush uh, C405 Contour Blush, and I just, I like angled blush brushes better. I feel like they apply it nicely, and it's nice. I mean, it's kind of scratchy. I sort of like Coastal Sense brushes better, but it's like three dollars or something, so. I bought it. And then I got some stuff when Lorac was on there, so I got this lip gloss. This is in the shade Dream Girl, and oh my god, these smell like vanilla, and it's beautiful, and it's like basically this shade, so I love that. And I also got the Lorac Face Self Tantalizer, the Face Bronzing Gradual Self Tanner. It has kind of a funky smell. Does anyone else own this? Is it kind of like a weird smell to you? I'm gonna do a test patch like right here later on tonight just to make sure it's not gonna like break me out or anything, but weird smell. Um, I also on Black Friday ordered this Bondi Sands, Bondi? Am I saying that right? I said Bondi last time and I got corrected. So I think it's Bondi Sands Australian Tan uh, Self Tanning Foam in Dark and I was just stalking Instagram on Black Friday because I was like what else can I buy? Apparently I don't know how to save my money on Black Friday so let's just buy everything. And I saw some before and after pictures with this stuff and I was like holy shit. I haven't used it yet and I've had it for about three weeks so I might do that tonight. I might have like a little spa day later on. Also guys if you want any reviews or anything incorporated in a tutorial or you want me to follow up on any product in particular let me know in the comments down below. I would be more than happy to do that. Right next I also got this. This is the Michael Todd where science meets nature, 35 retinol, vitamin C complex plus retinol rejuvenating serum. I've used this for about three weeks and honestly I really like this. I put this on before bed and my skin, it's just, it stayed very clear and I just finished finals when I'm filming this about 
four days ago and I usually during finals and midterms get like stress breakouts all over my face and I didn't this time and I gotta kind of say it might be because of this product because it's really the only thing that's changed. It just felt like my skin was a lot calmer, it felt like it was a lot more glowy and not super dull which was weird because I was doing so few things to it like during finals my skincare routine went from like hey let's do cleansers and masks and scrubs to like let's put a serum on and try not to die because of the stress. Okay then I got this, this is the Skin & Co Truffle Therapy um, cleansing oil and I just want to use something like this to take off my makeup. I feel like I spend so much money on makeup remover and makeup removing wipes and it's just it strips my skin so I wanted to try an oil even though I have oily skin and see if it worked. I don't know I haven't tried this out yet but I'm interested to see what it does and it will end up in an empties or I can follow up with you or something. Okay Colourpop. I did a quick Colourpop order. A lot of the stuff that I got went to gifts but I did get myself three things. First of all I got myself the Lippy Stick in Tootsie. This is my favorite shade. I'm wearing the lip liner right now and I love it and I just kind of wanted to get the lip liner first with my first order but I loved it so much I had to get the Lippy Stick. It is a matte. It is beautiful. It is my favorite favorite shade ever and I think it looks so good on my skin tone. And then I also got this eyeshadow. This is in Dance Party and it's fucking crazy. Look at that shade. It's metallic, it's beautiful, and like I just I love these shadows because look at that shine. Look at that. That's like I swirled my finger in there twice. It's crazy. Okay, and then I also got the Superstition Cream Gel Color Liner. And I actually have used this as a base a couple times with that Super Shock eyeshadow. And it is so nice. Oh, I forgot something from Hot Look. I got this sweater, which I don't even remember. What brand is this from? Love Stitch. And it's just like this super sheer kind of knit sort of sweater. I don't know. It's just very loose. I thought it would make a cute like just throw on whatever kind of sweater like just with some jeans and a tank top underneath like super easy to wear. Um, I went to Aeropostal three days ago and their boxing sale was on all week so I got this thermal, this white thermal that I'm wearing right now and I also got this cardigan here. I think this was like God, maybe, what's the actual price? This retailed for $54. I think I got it for $12, maybe. But I love it. It's just such an easy cardigan to wear. It flows really nicely. It fits my body really nicely. And I love the kind of Heather Gray look of it. Coastal Scents also came out with another revealed palette. This is the Smoky palette. It is on sale now. It retails for $19.95. And I definitely plan on doing a look with this because look at these shades. They're crazy. I'm just gonna touch a couple. Like, okay, first of all, what is that? What is life? What is shades and stuff? I just, the pigment is really, really beautiful. Like, just look, look at this pigment. It's beautiful, it's crazy, and they swatch so beautifully. I just, honestly, I'm always very impressed by their palettes. I think that they're all very pretty, the pigmentation is great. Like, this blue is insane. So, I'm gonna do a look, I wanna kinda do like a smoky... I don't know, like a smoky blue-gray look, because I don't really go to that, so I kind of want to just step outside my comfort zone. Okay, I also got a Beauty Box 5. I think this is like the November box. That just tells you that I haven't filmed a video, at least not a haul video, in forever. So yeah, this is the November box, and I just want to zoom really quickly through it because... I have it, and I, I wanted to show you what came in it. So first of all, there is this soothing facial mask from Kunis. Kunis, like Mila Kunis, Kun oh, I don't know. Um, this is a full size, retails for $15, and it's supposed to give you like a glow. Um, this is the 12 hour lip color Mood Matcher Luxe Twist Stick. Okay, this retails for $8, and it's a custom color, please. This changing shade cutie reacts to your lips and creates a one of a kind hue that lasts all day. But it's a cool concept. Next, this is the, what is this? The All Natural Face Vegan Matte Lip Cream in Cheap Color in Dusty Rose retails for six bucks. Alright, let's see. So it just looks like this. It's kind of a mauve shade. Um, yeah, I mean, I, honestly, eh, no weird scent. I'll probably wear that as a lip color, but this isn't my kind of product, really. Okay, then we've got the LA Fresh Eco Beauty Good Day Day Moisturizer. The full size retails for $40, and... It's just, it's a moisturizer, so I will test this out. I like the sample size, how you can actually reseal it. No weird scent. Oh my god, this is perfect. Okay, these are Alt Check MD Deep Puff Eye Pads. 
I need it. Do you see the bags? I'm recovering from finals still. I will continue to talk about finals until the day I die because they were horrible. Um, set of two, uh, I think a full size retail is for $20 and you just pop these on and it fixes puffiness, fine lines, and tired skin in 30 minutes. Maybe I'll do like a self tanner and I'll do this and then I'll do a face mask. Today's going to be a good skin day. So that is everything in the box. Beauty Box 5 retails for $12 a month. You get five full size and sample beauty products and it's one of my favorite subscription boxes because I get use out of almost everything every month. Okay, I think we'll go to Bath and Body Works now and then we'll end with Sephora and All Cosmetic Wholesale, which is pretty much the bulk of the makeup in this group. So, I got a ton of soaps. First of all, I got the Tis the Season all of these are foaming soaps because I like that better. I also got the Iced White Pomegranate, and I haven't really bought soaps. I've been really good about not buying a bunch of Bath & Body Works stuff. I definitely haven't bought any lotions in a really long time since the semi-annual sale six months ago, so I kind of stocked up on soaps again. I kind of stocked up on candles again because I'm getting down there. I have been using up all of my stuff, so I mean, it's stuff that I need. I need soap, so I justified buying it at a cheaper price, okay? <laughs> um, I also got, this is the Holiday Peach Punch. I just like the bottle and it was on sale for like $4. Um, this is the Candy Cane Bliss Soap. Everything is falling. I literally just dropped a fucking candle. And then two other soaps. This is Paris, which is pink champagne and tulips. And this is winter candy apple. So I tried to get some winter scents and then some things that'll transition nicely into spring. Okay, I got four candles. This is the pumpkin pecan waffles, which has maple syrup topped with brown sugar. A fragrance perfect for the kitchen or any room. And honestly, I got it for the packaging because I think this is fucking beautiful. And it smells good. I mean, I've burnt this one a little bit, and I think it's just, it's just beautiful. I've gotten compliments on my room after this goes, so I would pick up this candle again. It's really nice. Also went ahead and grabbed pumpkin apple. Oh my god. Oh my god. That smells so good. It's a lot of apple and cinnamon, um, and there's not really any pumpkin in there. Um, I then got a repurchase. This is black tie. I really don't like mahogany teak wood. I think it smells too chemically for me, but I really like black tie as that kind of masculine scent. And then the last candle I picked up was winter candy apple. I haven't smelled these in so long. I like it. It's not my favorite. I'm not a big fan of like all of their winter scents. I really like the vanilla bean noel and um, their peppermint one, but this one I just kind of wanted to test out since I haven't really. Then I have two lotions. Both are vanilla bean noel. <laughs> because this was two separate shopping trips, by the way. One was online, one was in store. So now I have three of these. I also went ahead and picked up this beautiful candle holder. In case you don't know, in case you weren't watching my Vlogmas videos, uh, my brother is moving out and I get his room, so I'm gonna make it into a filming room and I just kinda wanted to add some nice silvery accents and I think that this is gonna be beautiful for the winter. Oh, I got two shower gels because I'm actually out of shower gel, which is amazing. I have a back stock of everything else in my life but shower gels. This is the Winter Candy Apple and this is Twisted Peppermint. So now I'm good for like six months. I don't go through shower gel very quickly. Um, and last thing from Bath & Body Works are the Shea socks. It was like 3 for 12 and these are my absolute favorite socks ever. They're so soft, they keep my feet so warm, I, I just, I love them. So I got a little husky one, because you care, a little bear one, and a snowman. Because I care about my feet. You. Okay, a couple of quick things before we get into the makeup. I got this brush from Real Techniques from Rexall. This is their um, setting brush, and I love it just for kind of setting my under eye. I want to try baking my under eyes, so I think maybe this would be good for like kind of flicking it all away. And I got a deodorant. Fun times, bro. This is the uh, Secret Invisible in Cocoa Butter Kiss because it was on sale for $2, so I was like, can never have enough deodorants, let's get some more. I also made a really fast order on Amazon. I got a new mouse pad, it is Buffy the Vampire Slayer because I have an unhealthy obsession and I think we all know that by now. And I also got the Anxiety and Phobia Workbook because I was having anxiety attacks during my finals, so I figured let's work through it myself and um, I haven't actually cracked this open because I got it and I was like, I don't have time for this! 
I don't have time, I need to study. So I have it, um, and I'm, I'm excited to work through it. I've heard it's very good. I also got a ring light from Amazon, and then I also bought uh, two board games because actually one of you guys, one of my viewers, Michael, was so, so thoughtful and got me a Amazon gift card. So just know that I bought uh, Jenga and I bought the game of life because I'm now very into board games and playing board games with my friends and family while we drink. <laughs> okay, Sephora. This might have been the VIP sale or this was Cyber Monday, I can't remember, but it was a sale and I got 8% cash back on Ebates too, so that's good. Um, so I got the Bosia, Boshka, Bos Bosia? Can I read? No. This is the Black Charcoal Pore Perfection Set and it has the detoxifying black cleanser and the um, oil blotting sheets. I literally have not even opened this. I don't even know what the sizes are. I don't know if this is worth the $15 that I paid for it. So blotting sheets, there are 100 which is good. And then let's see the size of this thing. That is so small. <laughs> it's so tiny. <laughs> I'll be honest, I don't know if this was worth the purchase, but um... It's mine, so we're gonna use it. Okay, then I got the Origins mask set, and I think this was all in like the $15 deal section. So this was, it has the active charcoal mask to clear, clear pores, the retexturizing mask with rose clay, and the drink up intensive or overnight mask to quench skin's thirst. And they're all pretty good sizes. I've never tried Origins, so I thought that this kind of set would be good. Plus, I don't have any face masks, really, so now I have three. Okay, I also got this Buxom lipstick in Swinger, and this is my favorite shade in life. It's so pretty. I've only worn this once, but this shade of lipstick makes my heart so happy. It's so pretty. I'm obsessed with it. I went ahead and I got a Sephora Z palette and I just kind of transferred my Urban Decay 4th Anniversary shadows, my Coastal Scent shadows, and my MAC shadows in here. I went through all of my singles and this is what I decided to keep. So these are all of my eyeshadows that aren't in palettes and now they're all in palettes. So honestly, I've been using these a lot more now that they're a lot more readily available. So I've come up with some pretty looks with this stuff. So I'll do some more tutorials in the new year. Okay, I also got the Cover FX Mattifying Primer, just the sample size because I wanted to try it out. I really like the uh, Cover FX Primer Primer I used in must have been my last project pan and I wanted to try another one so now I have three primers in my collection amazing the last full-size products everything else was either in a sample bag or one of my three free samples or a 100 point perk this is something that I was kind of obsessed with I was gonna get something like this from either Makeup Forever or ColourPop or Urban Decay and I just decided Urban Decay was the place to get it. This is the Urban Decay Solace eyeshadow. It's one of those like duochrome -y eyeshadows. It's got the kind of burgundy and green duochrome and I just love it. I am obsessed with it. I've only worn this on my lid a couple of times since I got it, but it's so pretty. Okay, and then everything else, again, was either in the sample bag or a 100 point perk or one of the three free samples. So it came with the Buxom Mascara. I think this was a 100 point perk. Um, the sample bag came with the Clarins Lift a Fiend Visage Serum. Um, there was the Fresh Soy Conditioning Eye Makeup Remover, oh, okay, let's just toss that into myself, the Burberry Fresh Glow Luminous Fluid Base, and then there's just a bunch of perfume samples, and I'm only going to keep one of them, Chloe, because I love the Chloe perfume. The other ones are Amazing Grace, I'm literally getting rid of this because I hate the applicator, I think it's garbage. Um, I hate those fucking applicators. This is the Spice Bomb by Victor and Ralph, and not really my scent, this is... Altazer Cologne. I'm gonna give this to my brother. And then this is the Benefit Their Real Push-Up Liner, which I'm gonna test out. I don't know, I've heard very negative things about this product, but it was free, so I'm gonna use it. <laughs> oh, I lied, that's not it. I also got the Makeup Forever Professional Palette. Oh, that's so pretty. This is what I'm wearing on my eyes today. I've got this on the lid right here, this in the crease, and then I just kind of deepened it up with kind of a more matte brown shadow. And I think it's beautiful. I mean, I will be honest, I was expecting a little bit more of a creamy texture. Um, they are very shiny, but they're very nice. I mean, they're, I, I don't know, I was just expecting a little bit more. Okay, and then last thing in this entire haul, all cosmetic wholesale. For the longest time, first of all, not sponsored, <laughs> I was so fucking paranoid about using this website because I, I just always thought, like, how can you discount makeup like that? Like, how could you do that without it being fake or without it being so damaged or used? And I made 
an order when I think it was like free shipping or something because shipping is always like $22 to get to Canada and I was like that's just not worth it. So I made a huge order, got free shipping, and honestly I'm impressed. I've made another order since and that stuff is here too. I mean, I, I don't know. I like all cosmetic wholesale. I've had no issues thus far. So I got a couple things. Um, first of all, I got the Marc Jacobs Gel. What is this? The Gel Foundation. Uh, Genius Gel Supercharged Foundation. I got in Bisque Light. I do have a foundation review on this product, and I will link that down below in the description. But I really like it. I really like it. And I think it retails for like $50 or $60, and I got it for $35. So I like that even more. <laughs> I also got a sample of the Hourglass Primer. I have heard nothing but good things. This is the Primer Serum, and I, I think maybe this was like seven bucks, and oh my god, haven't used it yet, so I can't even report to you. I got so many lip products, like so many lip products, because I used up so many this year that I was like, you deserve it, Ashley. Go get all of the lip products you've ever wanted in your whole fucking life. So I got two Milani. This is Violet and this is Dulce Carmelo. So Violet is Violet and Dulce Carmelo is a very pretty nude. I have worn the Dulce one and it's beautiful, very creamy, and um, I might have to pick up more lipsticks from Milani. I got three Maybelline ones, which are honestly my favorite, the Color Sensational line. I got one nude, this is 965 in Raw Reveal. Oh my god, like this nudes out my lips absolutely completely. This is like putting a concealer on your lips. So you definitely need a gloss over top that has a little bit of color or you look like a corpse. And then I got two purple shades. This one is 995 in Violet Intrigue and this is 1000 in Lavender Voltage. So Violet Intrigue is, you know, very purpley. It's very pretty. I really, really like these shades. And then... Uh, lavender Voltage is just a little bit deeper, so you'll see the comparison in the swatches there. I got a couple of lip glosses also. This is the Hourglass Mini in Child, and I really like this. The only thing that I'm not a big fan of is I don't like um, lip gloss applicators that have brushes. I definitely prefer sponge tips, so that's really my only complaint, but really smooth, really pretty, really like the formula. I got the Max Lip Gloss in Snob, because I feel like everyone and their mother needs to own this gloss, and I'm wearing this over top of the Tootsie Lip Liner from ColourPop. I also got the L'Oreal Lilac Rich Color, Rich Color Rich, reading is hard, in Lacquerized 412 and honestly obsessed obsessed with these the color is beautiful I got a Cora's Jasmine lip butter. I fucking love these. It's oh my god They smell nice. They're beautiful This is my favorite shade in the Cora's lip butter line, and I just they're amazing and ending on the last four items all NARS two are lip products this first one is the sample size of Blue movie blue move Blue movie. I cannot see if that's an I or an E. I think it's a blue movie. <laughs> I might need glasses. So it's just a sample size. This applicator is again just a brush formula and I just think it's absolute shit. So my main complaint with this is the applicator sucks ass. I got this lip pencil. Okay, ever since I tried NARS Cruella, I have been obsessed with their lip pencil formulas. So this is the NARS Biscayne Park Satin Lip Pencil. It's crazy. This is like, um, this is like MAC Pure Zen if it was the nice formula. And then I got the best part of this entire haul. This is the NARS um, Dion Dual Intensity Eyeshadow. Look at it! Look at it! It's so pretty! You don't even understand how pretty it is! Oh, I love this eyeshadow. I want to marry this eyeshadow. I would have babies with this eyeshadow. It would be a very loving marriage. And then because I love that so much, I went ahead and I bought the Narcissist palette. Yeah, I bought this. I think it was like 50 bucks. I don't regret it. I think it's pretty. I love it. I wanted it. So I was like, hey, it's the holiday season. Just like buy it or whatever. So that... <laughs> It's the end of my longest haul ever. I'm so sorry if uh, because this haul was so long, you are now sitting there starving. You've, you know, reached your midlife crisis. You know, you don't know what to do with your life anymore. I apologize that I brought that on. But if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you got to the end point, first of all, thank you for being such a brave, brave soldier and sticking around for so long. And second of all, write in the comments, Wow, Ashley, that's a lot of useless shit that you didn't actually need.
thumbs up. Um, but that's it for this video, guys. I am now going to finally, after two and a half months of collecting all of this shit, put it all away. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you got for Christmas, what you went out and spent your money on on Boxing Day. Just let me know everything, everything that's new with you guys because I missed filming and now I'm filming so much and I love it. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I will be back in a couple days with another video and I will see you then. Bye.